Loving the sister of the teenage suspect who shot and injured a Merced County Sheriff's deputy in April in Winton is speaking to eyewitness news. Deputies returned fire and her 17 year old brother died from his injuries. Today, the Merced County Sheriff's Office released body cam video of the shooting. CBS 47's Ben Morris with what the suspect's sister wants everyone to know tonight about her brother. To me, it looks like it was an accident and that's what I'm going to stand by regardless of what anybody else says. You know what I mean? That's still my little brother at the end of the day. Drop the gun! Drop it! Oh. While the video is too graphic to be shown in its entirety, you can hear the shots and see the moments right before 17-year-old Jonathan Daniel Diaz Duarte was killed on April 29th. Duarte carrying what looks like an AR-15 style rifle. Deputy Lucy Lopez, who appears to fire in self-defense, was hit in the ear. We have slowed down the video so you can see Diaz Doherty clearly point the gun behind him towards Deputy Lopez and fire one shot. The Merced County Sheriff's Office says deputies went to a call of reported gang activity around 1 p.m. Deputies say when they arrived, multiple people fled before taking off in a white truck. Deputies led on a short pursuit. The vehicle crashed into a parked car at the corner of Susie Street and Walnut Avenue in Winton at 1.14 p.m. Investigators say several suspects ran, including Diaz Duarte, who was carrying a rifle. Hey, stop! Stop! Now! Let me see that! The deputy in pursuit of Diaz Duarte, losing him in the apartment complex. Deputy Lopez arrived moments later, spotting the 17-year-old before chasing him into an empty lot. Diaz Duarte died on scene. Deputies say they found this AR-15 style rifle on the juvenile loaded with 223 ammunition capable of piercing law enforcement body armor. Deputy Lopez sustained one gunshot wound to the left ear and gunpowder burns to her left cheek. The bullet also broke the back of her sunglasses. This shows how close the bullet came to potentially ending her life. It's El Diaz, Diaz Duarte's sister, saying even though Danny was a troubled kid, only just getting out of juvenile hall for robbery right before his death, she says he always cheered her on in her pursuit of a career in law enforcement. He would always tell me, like, even though you're a, you're a cop, like, you know, I don't really like cops, but he was, like, my biggest motivation, and whenever I'd be like, I don't know if I want to do this anymore, he'd be like, you're going to be a great cop, you're going to be a great forensic biologist, whatever you decide to do with yourself, you're going to be great at it. She just asked kids out there listen to their parents and stay away from gangs. She says if her brother did, he would still be alive. Ben Morris, CBS 47, Eyewitness News.